How I became a sewer commissioner. I mean, people keep asking me, well, you know, how did you become a sewer commissioner? Well, I was the treasurer of the Town of Roundfield Democratic Committee for a 15 year period. And for 15 years, I kept the Town of Roundfield Democratic Committee in the black. When I first became the treasurer, they were deeply in the red. And during that period of time, through my efforts, we kept every one of those uh, uh, people running for office with enough cash to, to, to get them in, into office. And that uh, at the end of the period of the election, we were broke. We had to be broke because if we had money in the bank, we weren't doing our job. So that started every, every time we started from broke and then we built it back up again. And one day Herb Reisman, a blessed memory, came to me and said, you know, there's an opening on the, com on the sewer commission. Would you, would you like to, to do that? I says, well, what does it entail? He says, well, you, you have to go to a meeting once a month, and, and there's a little stipend that you might get every year. I said, okay, I'll take it, which I did. And that's when I went to see um, Charlie Stewart, who was then the executive director, and spent time with him. And the rest is, is as happening tonight, is history. However, I'm going to read you something that was written as to why we are what we are in, in the sewer district and what we do. In the beginning, there was the plan. And then came the assumptions. And the plan was completely without form. And the plan was completely without substance and darkness fell on the face of the residents. And they spoke amongst themselves saying, this is a crack of doo-doo, and it stinketh. And the residents went into their sewer commissioners and said, this is a pile of dung, and none may be able to abide the, the uh, odor thereof. The commission has spent $152 million to make it, make it sure that the waters of the Hudson River should not be soiled with the effluence of the residents. And the plant was a complete success, built on budget and on time. The federal government, who sent us plenty subsidy, came and looked and said it was good. Even those who vehemently opposed the building thereof came, looked, and said, this is not so bad. We would like it to use part of it. And the new plant worketh wonders, in that the workers and the administrators screened out more of the excrement than ever before. A job well done, and the sewer commissioners went into their consultants and say up to them, it is a container of excrement and it is very strong such as none may abide by it. But we anaerobically digest the dung in our completely covered wastewater treatment plant and it smelleth not even during and after complete processing in the plant. And now we have it a multitude of process done. And the sewer commission spoke amongst themselves and saith unto one another, we can compost the digested dung Done along with the brush and yard waste. For this we know will work successfully, and it contains that which aids plant growth and is very strong. And the commissioners went to the keepers of the environment and showeth them the plan. And the keepers saith, it was good. And the sewer commissioners went to the county legislators and saith unto them, it promotes growth and is very powerful, and it does not stinketh during and after composting. And the county legislators went into the county executive and saith unto him, this new plan will actively promote growth and efficiency within this county, and within these areas in particular. And the county executive looked upon the plan and saw that it was good. And the plan became policy. And this is how shit happens. <laughs>
signed by Julius Grafman, Chairman of the Rockland County Sewer Commission. Now, in a capsule, that really tells us the work that we did for these many years, something that I'm proud to have been part of and, and humbled, as I said before, by the people that I work with and the people that helped us along this path this 30 years. And I say, God bless you all. God bless this country. And although you may not want it, I'm going to sing the sewer song. <laughs> this is what we say to those senators. <laughs> and this is what we sang to those senators in that elevator in Washington, D.C. One day, I don't know whether it got us any money, but it didn't get us thrown out. It didn't get us thrown out of Washington, D.C. Hold on. Okay. Okay, here we go. I want to speak before he sings. Oh, huh? that's okay. Brian, oh yes. We can do it after. Um, There's a big anticlimax. No, I'm sorry, I have to digress. My son Brian wanted to say something before I do. Yeah, you can hold back the phone. As, as the as the oh, okay. Oh, okay. Brian. So, Brian Graveman. Hi, son number two. Thank you all for doing this. Um, I'm going to be brief. I wrote, we wrote a card from uh, Barbara and myself and, my, and the kids. Uh, I'll be kind of brief because we know if I came after my father, it would be uh, anticlimactic. Um, dear, dear Dad and Grandpa, congratulations on your retirement. What will you do without scouring dense bond issues? You know, it used to be I'd see them over the uh, dining room table with piles of paper uh, inches high and more. Uh, what will you do without scouring dense bond issues, request for proposals, budgets, engineering reports, plant schematics, schlepping to meetings, contemplating issues, financial and technical, including avoiding waste and avoiding waste, and generally ministering and singing to the public. Today we sing your praises. You are truly a renaissance man who can seemingly do anything and everything and has accomplished great things and you leave a strong legacy. So you did it and you did it your way to skill from Sinatra. Well, we are proud of you all. And I have to tell you, it's funny, I laughed when Chris, when you were mentioning my father in the elevator and um, um, uh, sort of selling, doing the sales pitch. You don't know what you got in a sewer uh, commissioner and a sewer board member when he was appointed. Um, he, this is a man who would uh, read uh, the World Book Encyclopedia for fun and uh, used to go around the country repairing uh, uh, printing presses, uh, so he had that uh, finger tinkering and understanding how things work uh, un under his command. He also ran a uh, music magazine that came from England for musicians, and you should have seen, I should have brought the issues because I saw them sitting today uh, thinking about cleaning up. You would have a magazine of plus 200 pages, maybe 250 pages, mostly of advertisements that Julius Draper with a sales pitch managed to fill that magazine, a monthly magazine, coming from England, the United States. If you, if, I don't know what equipment this is, but we saw a concert the other day and had PV amps. He knew Hartley PV, he knew, every, he knew everybody in the music business because that was his uh, forte at the time and he was able to sell anything, quite frankly. So, um, and also, you know, dedication to the public. So what you got in a sewer commissioner was somebody who had, you know, used to run a, ran a business of 70 or more people in the city um, so he knew how to run a business, he knew how to tinker, he knew he was creative, and you, you've seen him with his, uh, his little bottles, he didn't bring them, the dairy, he made Perrier into Derrier, and uh, what's the other brand? Colin Spring. Colin Spring into Colin Spring. I mean, he has a set, he has, has a showmanship about uh, Mr. Graveman, so uh, you were lucky to have that on your sewer commission. And uh, with that, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Uh, and this is the song that uh, that Chris St. Lawrence <laughs> requested I sing in that elevator in Washington, D.C. And th this is, you know, every sewer plant really should have 
a uh, the statue of Ed Norton. <laughs> you know, Art Carney was the ultimate sewer worker for many, many years in uh, in uh, the honeymooners. And he actually did this song, and I was able to get a copy of this song through Rondello, who found it someplace and gave it to me, and that, that this is the way he I work in a sewer, it's a very hard job. They won't give it to any old slob. You don't have to wear a tie or a coat. You just have to know how to float. <laughs> we sing the song of the sewer. Of the sewer we sing this song. Together we stand with shovel in hand to keep things moving along. I work down a manhole with a guy named Bruce. We are in charge of all the refuse. He lets me go first. While he holds the lid, I'll tell you, he's a sweet kid. Now you can see Ed Norton doing this song. We, and you know, you could really join in if you could find this. <laughs> we sing the song of the sewer. Of the sewer we sing this song. Together we stand with shovels in hand to keep things moving along. A funny thing happened to Bruce yesterday. The tide came in and he got carried away. He came up in Jersey, but that's okay now. Cause that's where he lives anyhow. <laughs> we sing the song of the sewer. Of the sewers we sing this song. Together we stand with shovels in hand to keep things moving along. My father works in a sewer uptown. I followed his steps, and I worked my way down. <laughs> That's how I began in this here industry. I sort of felt into it, <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> we sing the song of the sewers. Of the sewers we sing this song. Together we stand with shovels in hand to keep things moving along. <laughs> and I thank all of you for coming tonight. And I'll hand it back to Diane. <laughs> so, the um, gift presentations. The manual cover clock. So it's right oh. 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 Yes. For the year 1985, the year that Julie started. Oh. 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 I use this on my letterheads, <laughs> by the way. This, this thing is on from the number one uh, manhole cover of Julius Grayson. <laughs> this is the real gift. <laughs> huh. This is What's in the line? Yep. Sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he needs. That's what he needs. That's nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. iPad. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Now I have to learn how to use it. A little free timey out. All right, I got the lowdown. I can go to the iPad store and go. All right. Anyhow, uh, there seems to be a cake over here, so I guess dessert is coming soon. You can get 